Greetings, Keishlings. Keishan Prime here with my live reaction of Burudo Chapter 27. Uh, let's see if I can move my camera out of the way so I can actually look. Uh, the breakdown of negotiations. Okay. Uh, and this is brought to you by a lovely commenter on my my hero video. I didn't know the chapter was out. Um, and I will try and keep up with Jim, was it John Minnie's box <laughs> for quicker updates, but by this morning, Manga C had already come out. So I'm using that one, though apparently they're the same one because I was looking at the font. <laughs> uh, someone's getting their manga stole. <laughs> uh, but anyway, also if you can hear the humming in the background, my dad's mowing the grass. I'm surprised this early in the morning. Um, usually that's my job. Taking her jobs. But, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Himawa, or is it? I swear I never got her name right. Hiwa. Hiwa me? Is it actually written? No, I was completely wrong. Uh, Himawari. There was an extra syllable in there. Figures. They couldn't have come up with a better name. Okay. Are they taking out the garbage? Hmm. Oh, yeah, because of the vase. Yeah, I, I'm kind of wondering, like, is there going to be more, like, social interactions now that uh, Kawaki is a part of the family, so to speak? It's going to be like freaking dif Different Strokes or some other 80s sitcom. And then I actually want someone with better editing skills than myself to edit in like some generic sitcom into this if it, when it becomes part of the anime or if it's not already part of the anime. I don't know. Uh, oh, she's talking to her mom about the vase because she's the one that made it. Oh. She doesn't seem too pleased with that explanation. It was a cute little vase. Okay, Bruto still sleeping, which makes me wonder what time of day this is from the last one. Are those Japanese characters or does, is that actually 47? Okay. And he's got to pee. Yeah, that's nature's alarm clock, isn't it? Oh, Kawaki, coming down the hall. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I bet they're both going to the bathroom. Yep. Here comes that first sitcom interaction where everyone, you know, everyone in the house, there's only one bathroom always. Why? I don't get it. Who was designing houses on the sitcoms? It was just for this one damn conflict where everyone has to race or take a number to get to the bathroom in time. Yeah, Kawagi don't care. And Kawagi don't look like he actually has to go. Bruno's there holding his junk. <laughs> Yeah, he, he don't give two fucks. I, I love that there's actually a wall closet. Or water closet. Why did I say wall closet? Wall closet is not a thing. Uh, water closet thing. On, or sign on the door. It's something you really don't see that often. In like... Anywhere uh, inside the U.S. except for Hey Arnold, because that's how I learned what that was all about. Um, just a stupid note. Uh, let's see. Good Lord, Britta. It's like what, what, what? okay, so they're just ping on the back side of the house now. They're going to have a dick measuring contest.
Oh, he's peeping. <laughs> oh, he called him a small fry. Kowaki's going to start a war. <laughs> I'm telling you, the, the sitcom vibes, they're getting stronger. Why did we have have two panels of them zipping up their pants? That seemed... Oh, now they're fighting. Or he just... Did he flip over the wall? Okay, now they're going into the streets, and this is going to get worse before it ever gets better. <clears throat> oh, definitely much when the seal activated. Uh, karma, I believe, it was what it's called, right? Yeah. Um... You know, you two could easily destroy half the village. And you choose to do this inside a residential area. They are stupid children. I mean, take it to a training ground or something. Uh, well, thankfully Naruto comes in. He was on the toilet. Wait, was it the same bathroom that they were going to go to? So, could... I'm really getting Master Roshi vibes from this scene with Naruto. Because, like, when uh, Goku, like, used King Kai to, like, call the others to let them know that, like, the Saiyans were coming early. And that he was on his way the best he could. But, uh, I believe that's how those events... It's been a while. Um... And he was on the toilet when Goku sent that message to him. <laughs> and he like rushes out of the bathroom with his pants half hiked up. So that that that's that's a scene you don't forget. But uh and this is kinda like that. That and that one episode where Ber or Naruto's like he drank bad milk as a kid and that was like early Naruto, good lord. He's like, They can't let me shit in peace. Breakfast looks good. Is that broccoli? I don't know what that is. I get an egg. Grapes? And is that cheese or something? I know in Japanese culture, like, breakfast is a bit different than us in the West. But still. Looks good, though. Okay, he's salting it up. I, I'm, I'm still going with the sitcom thing. <laughs> eh, they're just being little spiteful shits to each other. Eh. Uh, Himawari has his number. That name does not flow off the tongue. I may call her Hima just for short, like Baruta does here. Uh, it ain't teasing if it's the truth, I guess, yeah. And Kawaki's just kind of taking it all in. It's like, is this what a family is? You need to cut some of the slack off that belt, dude. Why is Baruto asking like, oh, so it's you again. He, he lives in the same house as you right now. You're going to see him. <laughs> yeah. That's usually a line only reserved for a sitcom. I'm probably just going to call this freaking chapter sitcom setup or something. Or sitcom pilot. Uh. Oh, talking about karma. Uh. 
Okay, talking about Momo uh, Shiki. Okay, Bruto's extending the same question. Oh, we're getting dark backstory. Yep, him in the IV bag. Like, where is the power coming from? Like, I assume you're inject. He's injecting it into these people in the IV bags, or is it the other way around? Like, most of them are getting it taken out of them and then put into one, or I don't know. But if they're all receiving it. Unless, are the black bags supposed to not be people? Or are those bloody bags because they've exploded? Because he's really freaking out. <laughs> oh. The jars on the bottoms have busted. So maybe those people are dead, apparently. And the bloody bag idea isn't so wrong well it's wrong for different reasons but <laughs> okay you got the science dude we saw I believe that was the last chapter right I don't remember his name then you have Jigen over there there's only three remaining test subjects. Okay. How do you not know how many people have died? What people are he is he referring to? I don't You would think you're doing tests and stuff. You know how many subjects you have. I mean you could visibly see them above you. So, why would that be a question? Unless it's something else. Okay, so they... I, I'm still wanting to know what happened to these people in these bags. Like, why does only the jar bust? You would think the bag would bust too. What is that bag made out of? Amado, is that his name? I don't really remember that name being attached to that man. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so he... Jigen has the power of karma, I guess. Given that he's getting... Not exactly similar in the vein that he's getting lines on his body, but definitely not in the same pattern. But it could be a little bit different, like when he transfers it over to somebody else and he still has it so they get like an inferior copy or something. But I don't. He's saying a vessel is essential. Okay, he dunked his hand in the... Okay, so the liquid is turning black and it's going up the IV tubes and that kid's about to die. <laughs> and Kawaki's watching it. Okay, Mark's forming on his body. Think you need, did not want to see a child's junk before they died. Oh, looks like it's too much, and he, yep, the pot busted. We didn't actually get to see him die, but the liquid on the bottom of the bag kind of suggests that, yeah, it might be their blood, but it's probably more the, the marking and karma liquid stuff. I don't know. I, I kind of wonder how many subjects they go through because of how quickly this seems to, you know, 
process. It's still interesting that like the only the jar busts though. I mean, I guess the liquid maybe travels back, but then why is the bag black? I have lots of questions. <laughs> eh. And this manga does not like to answer them, apparently. <laughs> uh, I do like the formation that he has of his markings, though. That, that's pretty cool looking. Oh, he's like, oh, you're awake, boy. You're next. Oh, he's already like, you, you won't disappoint me? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, back to the house now. Okay, so like he felt a lot of pain and as he was losing consciousness he he survived somehow. Okay. Thought he was gonna die. Uh, yeah. After what I saw I figured I'd be dead too. <laughs> yeah, I can't really blame him. Oh and Bur Naruto was actually listening to that. How does Kawaki not see him? Well, Baruto's like, well, at least you survived in that situation. He's like, I didn't survive. <laughs> Such an anime thing to say. Uh... Yep. It's always hell, isn't it? Hmm... You know, now that we know that Jigen is the source of karma, and he injects it into people, basically, like, can he trace where you are? Because he seemed to know where uh, Kawaki kind of was. So, this definitely puts the village in danger. Uh, I, I would be too if, <laughs> if there was a way well Bird doesn't really know much about what karma is all about but in considering how he got it opposed to you was you know a, a piece of cake Okay, Naruto's still listening. So I imagine he's going to probably do some tests on Kawaki. And Kawaki might actually go along with it. I don't know. I mean, after that, I don't think I'd want to have any tests run on me anymore. But, hey, if it means getting rid of this crap, I, I, I'd probably go for it. How is it a source of distress for you, Burrito? I don't get that. I mean, you're like a bomb, I guess, is where that's coming from. Other than that, I don't know. If anyone can explain that to me. And we go back to the flower vase. Well, you know, he really didn't care when he flipped the table. <laughs> You call it a mistake. An accident would have been more appropriate. <laughs> but. It's a wonder there wasn't more shit on that table you broke. <laughs> it, was a, it was a mistake. And by that I mean it was an accident. Even though I knew it was on the table when I flipped it. Uh. Uh, 
Okay, he was going to go replace it, be it it wouldn't be the same. Bruto's not happy with that. So, why do you even want him to try and make retribution? What do you want from him, Bruto? Eh. <laughs> Damn brat. And Naruto's like, yep, you don't know the half of it, kid. Like, 12 years of this shit. <laughs> Eh. Oh, is he going to try and, like, glue the thing back together? I think she is concerned about it, Naruto. You're her father. You should know a little bit better than that. Now, where have I seen this kind of personality before? Like, they'll do anything that's inconvenient for someone else if it completes their objective. Or is that just like, I'm just thinking of so many series that it, I can't... Huh. Maybe Sasuke from the original series? Like, he kind of would train with the other two in Team 7, just, you know, it's like, well, I'm getting stronger. You know? The friendship bit comes along with it, but I'm getting stronger to kill Itachi and avenge my clan. I, I, that's the only one I can come up with right now. And if so, kind of treading old ground, aren't we? Naruto's worried if he's going to steal it. Where are you taking him, Naruto? And Bruto just looking kind of pissed right there. And Notice the same thing with his belt. What the hell? They share a fashion sense of not freaking looping that thing around. It's ridiculous. Okay. Hmm. Okay, close the rift between them. And... But anyway, Burdo Chapter 27 End. Okay. I'm still calling it sitcom pilot because I mean other than like the the dark backstory that we got you have the 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 makings of a a weak sitcom from the 80s and I kind of like it I, I, you know that like they might come together a bit but they're definitely going to be on each other's uh cases a lot of the time and well just like Naruto and Sasuke from the original series I guess because they were, it was kind of what spurred them during their rivalry to see who could outdo each other. So, hmm, interesting chapter. I did like that we did get to see more of how you get karma, uh, but be it the um, Momoshiki gave it to Baruto. So, like, you know, given that what clan he's a part of. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Does that ever get explained? Obviously, don't spoil me, but a plain yes or no works. Um, like, they're the originators of all chakra and stuff, so they can do that kind of thing. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, like, knowing that uh, Jigen is the source of it seems to be interesting. And I do kind of wonder if there is, like, that... Uh, like link to anyone that has karma and then he can find them and then the village is gonna be not in the best you know <laughs> shortly thereafter I imagine but I could be wrong about that um, the village has only been around for what 30 years since it was last you know stomped into the ground so I don't want it to have to be rebuilt again <laughs> Um, but anyway, it was a good chapter. I, I, I enjoyed it. I might have wanted more, but eh.
you can't always have what you want. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Keyshawn Brown, and I'll see you next time. Keyshawn roll out.